Let's suppose you want to create life when you grow up. You know, like be a god who can just think of things and then poof, they become real. Well, you're probably wondering what you should major in for that line of work. What's the best subject to study? And I gotta tell you, there's only one possible major that will teach you all the stuff you need to know for that sort of thing. I mean, creating life is not simple stuff. For example, you're probably gonna have some cell division, right? So you don't have to work all day creating billions and billions of cells all by yourself. It would be much easier to just create one cell and then let cell division do all the work while you sit back and have some fruit juice or something. So what should you study? That was a clue. Division. Get it? Division. How are you going to do cell division if you don't know about division? And that's math. So if creating life is your plan for what you want to do when you grow up, you really better be a math major. Creating life is all mathematics. And by studying math, You'll also learn about the geometry of color. I mean, it would be such a missed opportunity if you tried creating life but hadn't mastered color algebras. You'll need math for that. And the cool thing about a career in creating life is that it can be a hands-on field where you get to see and hold the results of your work. You'll enjoy the tangible pleasures of getting to play with your own personal life forms selected from a parameter space of your own devising. I can tell you that if you become a math major and start creating life, you're going to get hooked and want to keep doing more. But wait, you're saying, hold on, is this thing a trick? I don't think that actually was division. Wasn't that multiplication? The number of cells kept doubling. One, two, four, eight. Hmm. Now, if you're thinking that, that's actually really good. You're definitely on the path for learning what you need to know for creating life. By studying math, you'll discover that there's no contradiction here. It's cell division and its multiplication. When you create life, you can teach your cells to divide by one half, and that's the same as multiplication by two. So, as a math major, you'll learn lots of handy tricks like that that save you a lot of time whenever you're creating life. And once you have two creatures, I know what you'll be thinking about, you know, reproduction. Learning that math is the power of creation is a really heady thing, and you'll no doubt want to get involved in more advanced reproduction techniques to start creating some babies. But that's going to go in a different video somewhere. So right now, I'll just say that every time you create life, you're going to have lots of little mathematical puzzles to solve. So you should start practicing now by taking lots of math courses. For example, just look at how the cells pack together. There are five-sided, six-sided, seven-sided ones. How are you going to keep track of all that if you don't study math? Look how there are more of the five-sided ones in the places where it's curved like a sphere. And there are mostly six-sided ones where it's flat or cylindrical like a rolled paper tube. And the seven and higher-sided faces, they seem to hang out where it's curved like a saddle. So what's up with all that? How do you expect to master that sort of thing if you don't study mathematics? So to sum up, if you're looking for a rewarding career with unlimited potential, or maybe if you just want a happy family of organisms on your own personal planet, you can't go wrong by being a math major. No other field gives you such power of creation.